Howdy and Namaste. This is Parth from the Karma Yogi and welcome to another episode of Karma Conversations where we where answer questions and discuss subjects that help us in becoming a better version of ourselves every day. Nothing good comes out of having credit cards in your wallet. That has been my experience so far. Despite what the advertisements, celebrities or loved ones and friends say, uh, using credit cards is always dangerous and no matter how responsible and careful we try to be, there's a high level of risk involved when we use them. People are accruing credit card debt at an alarming rate and it has become a major problem. Um, today's question is from Brian. What are the best strategies to pay off credit card debt? Um, like I said, credit card is a huge problem in our society today and there is no positive side to credit card use. We are blinded by airline miles, cashback, reward points, but we don't see the hidden costs, interest payments uh, that the credit cards bring. Um, if you miss a payment or just pay minimum payments on your cards, you accumulate interest charges and if you are reckless about the monthly payments, you will also be slapped with late fees. It's a myth that credit cards uh, give us freedom and in fact it does the exact opposite. Um, they anchor you down and stop you from getting on the road to financial freedom. I did some research um, on the current state of affairs with regard to the credit card debt and just uh, came across some mind-numbing statistics. The 2017 American Household Credit Card Debt Study by NerdWallet reports that the average household that's carrying credit card debt has a balance of $15,432 uh, $15, US dollars. Uh, the study shows that several major uh, spending categories have outpaced income growth over the past decade. Many Americans are putting medical expenses on credit cards and the average indebted household is paying hundreds of dollars in credit card interest each year. And a recent CNBC article uh, published on 20th July 2018 reports as balances rise and interest rates climb, the collective cost of carrying debt on plastic is on track to reach $110 billion by next March. The amount of money that US consumers shell out yearly in credit card fees and interest has passed the $100 billion mark, new research shows. With credit card debt at more than $1 trillion and interest rates ticking upward, Consumers paid nearly $104 billion in those charges during the 12 months that ended March 31st, according to data from Magnify Money. That figure is 11% more than the $93.7 billion tallied a year earlier and 39% more than the $74.6 billion recorded in 2013. The company also forecasts that when it takes its yearly measurement after next March 31st, the total paid in fees and interest during the preceding 12 months could be more than $110 billion. <sighs> wow. um, I'll put the links to these articles in the description. Um, I think it's best to stay away from credit cards and maintain your distance from them. If you have accumulated credit card debt, then you need to understand that knocking off any debt is not easy and there is no quick fix. It's a slow and steady process that requires a lot of commitment and discipline. Um, I had thousands of dollars of credit card debt as well and I'm happy that I've paid it off. Um, it involved a lot of sacrifices along the way but uh, in the end it was all worth it. Uh, the two dis essential disciplines that helped me become free from credit card debt were uh, sticking to the debt snowball method and having a monthly written budget. In my opinion, the single most essential ingredient that we need to become debt free is grit. If you're on your journey to become debt free or are wanting to embark on this journey and get rid of credit card debt once and for all. I'd highly recommend reading The Total Money Makeover by Dave Ramsey. Uh, this book will change your finances and eventually change your life. Um, 
to remain committed to being debt free and uh, sustain the intensity uh, I suggest watching YouTube videos from uh, the Dave Ramsey show every day it also is available in the po podcast form um, they, will, they will keep you inspired and fueled another invaluable resource is uh, the minimalist podcast um, as I started learning in depth about minimalism, it added the much required boost to my resolve on becoming debt free. I highly recommend reading the articles on the minimalist blog, they are very helpful. Um, getting rid of excess and returning and selling items helped me generate some funds that I directed towards paying off my debt. So here are some key points and lessons that I learned that I can help you. Uh, that can help you in becoming free from credit card debt. So there are a total of um, 18 bullet points that I'll go through. So here they go. Have a budget at the start of every month. Build a $1,000 starter emergency fund uh, before you attack your debt. Pay debt using the debt snowball method. Stick to public transport as much as possible. Take Uber or Lyft only when required. Uh, dump your car and car payments if you can. Uh, I never owned a car so, so that I could pay off my debt faster, but it may or may not work for you, um, depending on your circumstances. So if you need a car, buy a used car with cash and just don't get caught up with it, uh, car payments. Rent an apartment strate strategically in a great location where everything is nearby um, and the commute to work is as easy as possible and less time consuming. Rent, sorry, uh, be inspired every single day. Uh, watch the Dave Ramsey show or listen or read to personal finance management books every day. In addition, you can listen to podcasts that, that give sound financial advice. Um, I recommend the Dave Ramsey show and the minimalist podcast. Let go of excess, become a minimalist and purge unwanted stuff. Prepare your own meals, reduce your grocery expenses, um, depending on your debt situation, eat out once a week or for a change or not at all so that you can pay off your debt aggressively. Reward yourself with a massage or a nice meal or any other worthwhile experience once you pay off a credit card. Um, cancel the credit card as soon as possible, as soon as you pay it off so that you, you don't accrue any new debt and are not tempted to use that card in the future. Cut off all the credit cards you have. If you get new new credit cards in the mail to replace the old ones, cut them with scissors as soon as you receive them. Avoid getting enticed by reward points and or frequent flyer miles that you could, that you would get using credit cards. Uh, instead, focus on the long term reward of being debt free and having simple finances that are easy to manage. Use any previously accrued reward points to pay off your credit card balance if you can. Uh, avoid financing options when you want to buy a new item, device or gadget. Instead, save in advance and pay the entire amount upfront or best, avoid buying it altogether. Choose delayed gratification. Let go of short-term ephemeral pleasures and embrace long-lasting joy. Always be in touch with the vision of becoming financially free. This will keep you inspired as you make sacrifices in the everyday life. Don't succumb to peer pressure. Uh, let your friends go outside and be reckless with money while you build your money castle one dollar at a time. If your friends don't support you and or appreciate your commitment, uh, then it's time to find some new friends. Find free and inexpensive ways to have fun. Uh, taking blissful walks in the park biking around the city, meditating, or doing some uh, relaxing yoga in the evening have zero costs and are 100% rewarding. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends or loved ones who are in their 
who are on their debt free journey and for more videos like this subscribe to my channel if you would like to ask me questions write down write them down in the comment section below and i'll try my best to answer them in the future episodes and if you want even more resources to create an extraordinary life and become a better version of yourself every day plus some personal insights and updates that for me from me that i only share in the email uh, hop on to the karmayogi.blog and make sure you sign up for our email newsletter focus on your actions and let go of the outcomes because success is a journey not a destination and we need to keep working towards it every single day thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you soon